Peanut butter cookies are delicious. At least that's what I'm told. When I was two, my grandmother gave me a peanut butter cookie and it almost killed me. That was the beginning of my life with food allergies. What's going on in my body that makes peanuts so deadly for me? Hey Nourishable, I'm Dr. Lara. This episode is part of my food allergy series. Food allergies occur when the immune system mistakes a food as a foreign invader. The same way that cops patrol for criminals on wanted posters, our immune system patrols for its own perpetrators, like the bacteria that cause strep throat. The immune system uses Y-shaped proteins called antibodies to identify the perpetrators. The antibody has a biological version of facial recognition software to see if the invaders fit into to its hands. Most antibodies have hands shaped to bind perpetrators that cause infections, like strep bacteria. People with food allergies have antibody hands shaped to bind a food, specifically a protein in that food. For me, I have antibodies with hands shaped to bind a peanut protein because I'm allergic to peanuts. Some peanut antibodies float around my blood, but most peanut antibodies are anchored to the outside of a mast cell. The inside of the mast cell is full of a chemical chemical called histamine. The outside of the mast cell is covered with peanut antibodies with their peanut binding arms spread high, just waiting for a peanut protein to float by. These mast cells are like security guards that live all over my body, in the lining of my airways, in my skin, and along my intestines. So let's say that I'm taking a bite of a peanut butter cookie. Those peanut proteins enter my body and start attaching to the hands of my peanut antibodies. This causes the mast cells to spit out histamines. The histamines will open the floodgates of my blood vessels, making them very leaky, which causes swelling and hives. The severity of a food allergy depends on the number of antibody-covered mast cells and where they live around the body. If there are only a few, then the symptoms could be some itchy hives. Mild food allergies can be treated by taking an antihistamine like Benadryl, which will block the histamines from functioning. If there are lots of antibody-covered mast cells all over the body, then this this allergy can cause anaphylaxis, which can be deadly if not treated immediately. Anaphylaxis is a severe, rapid allergic reaction that impacts the entire body. I have an anaphylactic allergy to peanuts. This is because I have so many mast cells covered in peanut antibodies all over that my immune system has become super pro at detecting even the tiniest amount of the peanut protein. If I eat something that has touched a peanut, then the peanut proteins will bind to my peanut antibodies and cause mast cells all over my body to spit out histamine. This massive release of histamine can be deadly for two reasons. First, all this histamine will cause so much swelling in my throat that it can close and I can't breathe. Second, the histamine will cause so much fluid to leak out of my vessels that there won't be enough blood left to circulate around my body, causing dangerously low blood pressure. Immediate injection with epinephrine is the life-saving treatment for anaphylaxis. Epinephrine is a hormone that our body makes naturally when under acute stress. But our body doesn't secrete epinephrine during an allergic reaction. So instead, you could administer it using a very easy to use auto injector, like an EpiPen. The epinephrine will make the blood vessels constrict to keep more fluid in them and will also relax the airway so that you can breathe again. But it doesn't last for very long, so it's critical to get to an emergency room. Although there's lots of ongoing research, there are currently no cures for food allergies. Strict avoidance of food allergens is a must, so no Reese's peanut of butter cups for me. If you suspect a food allergy, make sure to go get tested by a doctor to confirm, and then together make a personalized emergency action plan. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about food allergies, from the underlying science to the realities of living with food allergies. And that's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. If you want to learn more about nutrition and food allergies, subscribe to Nourishable and follow my food allergy playlist.